Ready. Sarah, first of all, welcome to the UK. How, how are you finding it? How are you enjoying Fight Week? I'm enjoying it so much. They're having a lot of things and uh, this is my first time as a professional fighter outside Denmark. So this is all new to me, um, but I really enjoy it and I look forward to every day because there's happening something new and especially most the fight on Saturday. With all of that being said, are you approaching this differently? Is it affecting you know, the way you normally prepare for a fight? Actually, I think it's better because uh, when I left Denmark, I left everything uh, like the ordinary things, routines you have during the day and everything is prepared. So here I can only focus about the fight and uh, you stay in the game with all these things happening every day, like the public workout and the press conference. So you don't forget what you were supposed to do in a few days. A lot of the talk obviously has been about Amanda. She's a legend of the sports. Are you relishing being the underdog, being able to go in this, people forgetting that you have a world title as well? No, I'm okay being the underdog uh, because I believe in myself and I, I've come here for a reason and I have the IBF title, uh, I earned it. So, um, of course, we have to unify the titles and this is an honor for me to have this fight and I'm very thankful for the opportunity and I'm going in it to win it. Being on a big card like this, fighting a big name like her, has that been giving you extra motivation in the gym? Is it making you work that little bit harder? Of course it has. Of course, I want to look good when I go into the ring. I want to look sharp. I want to show people what I can do. And that uh, demands a lot of preparations. So I've been working. I, I was about to say my ass off, but I've, I've, <laughs> I've been working harder than ever. But then looking into the fight, you know, a lot of British fans won't have the opportunity to have seen you before. What kind of style can they expect? Are you a very aggressive fighter? Do you like to maybe fight on the back foot? Can you give us a little brief snippet on what you're all about? Uh, I think about the aggression, uh, Amanda will win if I do that. So I have, we have a plan and I'm like more, um, I like to move around in the ring and yeah. And when you're looking at this fight, are you expecting it to be a grueling battle that it's going to be, every round is going to be important or do you think that maybe you could get it? get in front very early, what kind of battle are you expecting? I think at the, I've seen some of Amanda's fight and I know she comes hard out of the corner to begin with. So uh, let the storm ride off and then I can show what I can do. And then looking into this fight and looking beyond it, is this something that you think could be the pinnacle of your career or is this just a start? This is definitely a peak. This is a great opportunity. I'm so thankful for everything. But of course, I hope it's a start too, to something bigger. And looking at the top of the card, what did you make of Joe Joyce and Joe Parker? Do you, it must be an honor to be able to share the card with fighters of this level. Of course, I also had a picture with the Joe Joyce yesterday. So I'm really, I think this is, I can't stop smiling when I think about it. And I love the setup. I love to come here to Manchester. People are very friendly. I really enjoy everything. And um, I'm just trying to also to remember to enjoy it myself and, and like don't let the thoughts about the fight take over, but really have fun with it. And then Saturday, it's going to be business time. Are you predicting a comfortable win for yourself? Of course, I'm ready to go do business, of course. And I'm, I'm here because I believe in it. Of course, I wouldn't do this if I didn't think I could do it. We wish you the best of luck and uh, we'll see you at the way in tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.